Alrighty, everyone. Are you ready for another exciting episode of the Rutgoons? Yay! <laughs> you got Thank left you alone so again. <laughs> <laughs> I was it's like, no, me. no one else is going to cheer. You know, I was under my silence oath. It's like, oh, yeah. <laughs> Shut up, Frog. <laughs> <laughs> How come nobody I, cheered? But, Shut the fuck up! <laughs> <laughs> Why does nobody like we me? We need a new I, bit. You don't count for yeah. me. But we need a different bit. So normally, like for for the Rock Rain crew, and usually we all just go yay because it gets up the excitement, hypes everybody up, all that other stuff. Yeah, we need another you're... bit for us because we're not. Yeah, because we're not real friends. <laughs> yeah, yeah, what? you're false friends. <laughs> I'm yeah, too... we don't like to hang out. Oh I'm... no, my imposter phenomena. <laughs> <clears throat> I'm we, too goth to cheer. We just go, yay. Yeah, I'm here. I just, <laughs> hurry, <laughs> just hurry the fuck up there. You know? Okay. okay. Let's get this Where's over. the content game master? <laughs> Come on. Yeah. Give, give my, my slam poetry stamp clapping. There you go. How about that one? <laughs> course, welcome back, everyone, to the show. Hope everyone had a phenomenal time. You're listening to some podcasts. I hope you're having a good work day or drive or whatever else you're doing. Uh, do remember we all we always have the show get distributed from Twitch first, which you can always watch us live at twitch.tv forward slash narrative declaration, and then watch us on Patreon. And if you're a sub on Twitch, you get to watch the vods early for a week or so, and then after you know watch it earlier so on Patreon as well, patreon.com forward slash narrative declaration, and get a bunch of cool PDFs. I'm soon to try and get all the Rockers assets out. It's just I'm insanely busy juggling everything. Um, but you'll get those whenever you're, uh, they come out and stuff on Patreon. But then after Patreon, it goes out on YouTube, where you can watch it at your convenience. And then later on podcast platforms, which I hope you all have been enjoying. Um, further on for that, there are the amazing people who bring you today's episode, starting off with Minerva. <gasps> That's me. Hello, my name is Minerva, aka Party Demoness, on all social platforms. Uh, all I of play them? all of them. Which one? Ever of all time. Name them all. You know, like Twitter and the Twitch. What's Sometimes Twitter? Blue Sky. I don't know. It's this thing that like Elon Musk was like, "What if I turned into X?" And everyone was like, "That's a bad idea. What are you doing?" Uh. Anyway, I play <laughs> the No <North> Ranger. <laughs> Great crocus, I'm level seven. Wow. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. And next up, our, our ghoulish caffeinated cult leader, Cabal. That's me. I'm Cabal, and you can find me over at youtube.com slash Cabal. Uh, After uh, October is over. Um, How's it spelled? Uh, uh, K A B H A A. L. I was waiting for you to fuck up your own name. <laughs> it wouldn't be the first time. But yeah, I'm your uh, favorite frightening caffeinated cult leader and hooded horror host, and I am playing Talim Shabura, the sparkling Tarsh ghost mages, who's also level seven. And of course, we have our resident little guy, Heart. Huh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sorry. Oh, sorry. I didn't notice this. No! Uh, I have a person, little guy, Froggy. Long. <laughs> You're so mean to me. Hi, I'm Froggy Lock, and this is a cry for help. I'm a professional <laughs> artist, live chitty rigger, and a variety streamer here on Twitch, but you can find me on all sorts of other social media platforms under that uh, same handle. Today I'll be playing Beetlezebub, the level 7 kobold investigator, and my favorite colors are mustard yellow and blue. Hey, suck on that. wait a second. <laughs> suck on that! Suck on that! Woo! You would Woo! suck on mustard. Woo! Of course, I it's your it. favorite weird little thing you'll I said it! I love creature, yellow and little, blue. Little, little or like or orangey. Colors in blue, like orange, yellow, and blue. So oh. you said or orangey colors. I'm like, what? Oh, or no, orangey, orangey. <laughs> I'm glad we got fruit, that cleared up. No, Thanks no, for no. Recovery. I I live Thanks for, for recovery, when froggy. I live for when Froggy just slams her hands on her desk and you just hear the thud. <laughs> no, I, I can't wait till one day we can see her actually slam her hands on her desk and you can see how all of her tracking equipment shakes. 
<laughs> one day. One day. <laughs> of course, we have our artistic tornado, Salty Jum. You're muted, Salty. <laughs> Going I can't believe Salty's muted. <laughs> Salty is really not good. speak to us. Okay. Yeah, Salty's back. Going really good. Um, oh no! Uh oh! It's always an issue when you play online. <laughs> wouldn't it's that so be hard by? Wouldn't that really be messed up that you're playing locally, like physically with each other, and then like someone starts talking, but just nothing comes out, and you're like, uh oh. Salty, oh. speak to us. That would be so weird. Um, hello, my name is Schnalty Schnub. Uh, I am playing Hart. He's a level 7 monk and he's a big boy. Uh, in terms of ancestry, it's still human question mark. And you can find me over at cabal at youtube.com slash K A um, wait, B H double A L. Uh, since I will be working with Cabal over on his YouTube channel. You can also find me at Soren the Bear, because I will be working with him. And I yeah. will also be working here at Narrative Declaration. Yeah. You can't find me elsewhere, except at Salty Job on Twitter. <laughs> Fear. She is approaching. <laughs> you could have you could have used the, 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 the siren right there. <laughs> you can't find me anywhere else except at Salty Jub on Twitter. What you can do, however, for every single donation that will be given today will go towards the Keep Froggy Silent Fund. <laughs> every five gifted subs is five seconds so the Froggy has to shut up. Oh my god! What did I do to you people? Holy Exist. Shit. Die, die, die. <laughs> Kill, kill the kobold, kill the rot. There's only yeah. one choice. Everyone together now. Kill oh the kobold, God. kill the rot, kill the kobold, kill no. the rot. Oh man, you gotta be silent for five seconds now. I'll oh, man. I'll I'll call a. Uh, oh my God, I'll have to pull a Mr. Rogers. You go. I'll count the time. One, two, three. Be silent <laughs> over there. Four, five. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> oh, got to do five more seconds. Sorry. What? One. <laughs> hey, be quiet over there. One, two, three, four, five. Hey, I told you to be quiet over there. The, the Keep Froggy uh, <laughs> Quiet Fund oh, has now been uh, liquidated due to it being horrible programming. Uh, <laughs> oh, you know what would be really funny, Chad? That she has to be randomly silent. Thanks for all your subs. Which, thanks, everybody. I twitched on two before slash new declaration. Thanks, everyone, for coming live to mess with us. Um, So, who wants to do the recap? Stairs of Froggy. Stairs of Froggy? Yeah, looks at Froggy. Stairs yeah. of Froggy. We could volu <laughs> we could voluntold you to remember everything that happened after a long period of time because we do these bi weekly sometimes have to skip a day because of health issues. And, yeah, and, uh, it, and it, if it's you me, I'm health issues. If you uh, <laughs> if you skip out on the coconut moment, I'm gonna mold. I'm gonna coconut mold. Oh God, what did you happen said, last time? You said coconut moment, and I uh, thought of something completely fucking different and horrible. I haven't read it. Just do your best. Oh, God. Oh, I didn't write a thing. Usually I write a thing. I hate myself. Uh, do, do summarize with bullets and points. You don't have to give me like a whole, whole like, like a recap thing. Oh, Just give crap. me something with bullets and points that you remember off the oh, top of your head. Like we did this okay. and then this and then this. Oh, I'll do my best. Okay. I, this may not be proper good 100% remembering or recounting but i believe when we started off last time we were headed back from the parade and we went back to the elmas we brought our new potato boy greg um and he's a little boy in some burlap sacks who can summon some really good potatoes from thin air just with magic and he was he was just selling them for two copper at the parade and talima prayed upon him i mean invited him uh, to join our team. <laughs> 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 and 
and then brought him to the Elvas, and then they also were very quick to, um, I don't want to say take advantage of the situation, but employ Greg, uh, and, and uh, this, this was a very big moment for Greg in particular. For our party as well, to be a part of it, but, you know, Greg was faced with some you know, do I do I become a wizard? The Elmas were able to figure out that Greg's potato talents were actually a curse, and if that curse was lifted, Greg could become an actual not that potato mancers aren't actual wizards, but an actual wizard. And Greg decided, after much internal turmoil and deliberation, he went through a whole character arc. I'm going to become the potato man. And so that is what Greg is setting off to do. And we invited Greg to come with us because we actually, in the episode prior, were visited by uh, the Atmari Recounter, who uh, invited us to to come over to, to see Curtinand. And Kurt, we, we saved a bunch of people, and Curtinand was like, wow, you're pretty lit. Come over to my dinner. And we were like, sick, because that's what the whole meaning of the parade was for us. Our, our group wanted to go and see Curtinand to get cured of our rock disease, which is this awful condition where a magical red stone gives you hallucinations and appears and teleports all over your body. And we're like, fantastic, Curtinand, hook us up. So we wrap up with Greg, the Elmas, we pack up, we're ready to go out to dinner. Vina gives us some little gifts, some scarves. She sees us off. She's like, oh, I'm so cute. I'm a mouse. Goodbye. And we were like, bye. <laughs> <laughs> and then we went to dinner and uh, we met this adorable little maid, this like Aunt Mari maid who I, I love. There was some miscommunication and uh, we were like, oh, we've got a date with her dad, but like a not like a romantic date. And she was like, oh, my. And she thought it was romantic. There's no one lost. Oh, oh, no. oh, oh, why, oh, why? And uh, that was very cute. And I still love her and think about her all the time. And we are escorted into this very fine, nice villa in the in the Queen's Palaster. We go inside. There, there's a light gathering inside. And we're like, oh, this is interesting. This is interesting. We go upstairs and there is an area with a dinner table. And Curtin has prepared all this food that he cannot eat, but he prepared it all just for us. What a nice guy. What a sweet mm. guy this curtain is. Yeah. And we're like, oh, sick. And we start eating the food. We're having a great time. And we're, we're like, hey, curtain in. And despite going in, you know, we don't know curtain in. We think he's a nice guy. We work out a small plan. And we're like, let's find out what curtain in would like from us in exchange before we tell curtain in what we want. Just in case maybe he's not so nice a guy. Maybe he's hiding that he's actually a not nice guy. Because this is Rock Grind, the, the universe of Rock Grind, and nobody can be trusted. And we all agree that's a great idea. We get in there, and immediately the party is like, so this is what we want. And uh, that idea got thrown off the balcony. And Beetle's <laughs> <laughs> head was in his fucking hands. And Kurt and Andy's like rubbing his little hands together. You know that, that gif or that uh emoji of the cat with the devil hordes he's yeah. rubbing his hands together <laughs> that's curtain man curtain man's like oh you want this do you oh boy yippee i sure won't prey upon that and i don't think he did maybe he's a really sweet guy curtain man leads us out onto the balcony he's like there's a big old event happening today and we're like is there mr curtain man oh boy i sure hope you're not about <laughs> to take advantage of us and our and our whims and what we would like and because we throw all our plans out the window i'm not salty or bitter and uh <laughs> Kurt Dan's like, yes, look at this very fine event happening today. And we look down and there are a bunch of people being executed. And we're like, oh, oh boy. And Kurt Dan's like, it's so sad. It's so tragic. Swirling his wine, which is actually souls. He's drinking fucking souls. There's that's not a red flag. This is fine. And uh he offers souls to Taleb and to Heart, and Heart almost drinks it, and that's horrifying, but I won't read into it too much. And so he presents us with like a, I've got one pardon from the, the royalty for some reason, and I can pardon one person here who's going to be executed. Isn't that fun? Why don't we make a little game out of, out of life itself? Isn't that fun? Oh boy, that's going to be great. Here, you get to choose somebody to pardon. And um, Gray, I remember being horrified by this prospect. Frozen, paralysis, did not know what to do. She's like, oh, fuck, oh, fuck, oh, fuck. This is so much pressure. And to leave it harder, like, mm, we 
don't really care. Well, not necessarily. Hart thought it was a trick. Hart thought it was a trick. Talib didn't care. <laughs> Talib was like, hey, they can all die. Whatever. Eats, eats his little ghost food. <laughs> and then Hart is like, I think this is a little trick. I think this is a silly little trick. And boopity boopity boo. And uh, Beetle is freaking out because he doesn't want anybody to die. He's like, okay, we have to save at least one life. At li like, we have to save somebody. We have to do something. We can't not do something. So, um, after a slow motion panic, where time kind of slowed down to allow me out of character to freak out and think, Beetle ends up grabbing, like, a card. He's made this card game on the table where you, you can't exactly select who you want to survive so it's random and some of the people there are like innocent and then other people be executed it's like oh he ate six grandmas off the street and <laughs> yeah it was a little gripply he ate a yeah. bunch of people yeah and the left again. foot the left foot off of every baby in outside so like <laughs> beetle's like oh shit so there's a chance that that guy could have gone free it was a lot of pressure which is why we had to slow down time for thinking and uh, Beetle grabs a card. Thankfully, it is the card to somebody who Beetle would have liked to see saved. There were two people in particular. There was a little cat guy who was just being executed for breaking into a noble's party and eating food and being like a shit disturber. And Beetle's like, ah, oh, whatever, that's not too huge a deal. And then the other guy was being executed for, oh God, eating people. And it sounded like he didn't even actually do yeah, it because yeah. it sounded like he was getting set up. Yeah, I couldn't remember if it was eating people also, like with the other guy, the Gripley, who was like, oh, yeah, it was, uh, do it again. <laughs> it, was, it was four people. Uh, it was Chungus. Yeah. Uh, Chungus, yeah. Yeah, and he's like, I didn't do anything. I don't know what's going on. And it we're just like, oh, no. Oh, but everyone blamed crying. him because she was an ogre. Everybody yep. blamed him and he was crying and it was so sad. So those were the two that uh, Beetle and me were, were really hoping would be saved and we ended up saving chungus so unfortunately cat boy dies uh thankfully gripply mickey dies <laughs> and uh the at mari guy Kurdnan, Kurdnan boy is like oh that was such a fun game yippee and beetle's got some red flags but uh he's like okay this is a little uh, yeah if you say yippee woohoo and then Kurdnan gave beetle a fork with a soul in it named Frork. Um, <laughs> I forgot about that. <laughs> he was um, an 18 year old farm boy at one point, And now he is a soul inside of a fork. And the he whole lived, thing. He lived to the ripe old age of scratched his leg in the field. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. And the Atmari and Kurdan, he's, he's all like, oh, we're all about conserving life. Everybody plays a part to some degree, even if the role is very small, and everybody's willing in it. Like it's like a big kumbaya, he who, very good time. Here, have this little fork because you did the thing to save a life today. And Beetle is like, wow, amazing. And all red flags about Curdenand gone. I have no doubt in my mind that Curdenand is a good guy now. I love that. I love the conservators. I, I love Curdenand. Uh, I love Frork. And Ferdinand gave us uh I left I've left out the most important part of what happened <laughs> during this game or after the game I can't quite remember Ferdinand uh says hey I've got some stuff I want you to do for me and in return I can help you I can't help you before you do the stuff for me because the stuff you do for me I have a feeling is gonna help me help you to help you help me so we're like okay that's awesome i think so kurdnand wants us to go retrieve something that i believe was being delivered to him i don't think it was stolen he like hired was it croc's team Do you it guys was remember? croc's gang i Correct. think yeah it was croc's gang. croc's gang he hired croc's gang to go retrieve something for him from under the city and they just disappeared they just ghosted him so they went and presumably have this thing. We don't really know. We've got to go check up on Croc's gang. But uh, at the moment, he has some light idea of what's going on with us. And he says he thinks he can help us, but he needs 
this item to be really, really sure. So we're like, bet. Thanks for the fork. Thanks for the food. We're going to go to Croc's gang. See ya. Wouldn't want to be ya. Woo! And then okay. we dip out of there. Froggy, you say that you're like, I don't remember. I think you remembered more than I did. Did I? <laughs> I did a memory. <laughs> you remembered an entire God. thing. I feel like I could have made it more concise if I remembered better. Sorry, that was so long-winded. I was like remembering as I was going. <laughs> the only Wait. thing you got wrong was oh, where no, you horribly, you horribly misrepresented Talim and his Oh my God, he didn't even care. He did not even care. No, he was like, no, oh, they're gonna no, die. That sucks. no, no, no. <laughs> it was there was the risk of the Gripley getting out, and he wasn't willing to take uh... that risk. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Yeah. Okay. I'm not just because I'm a bad guy doesn't mean I'm a bad guy. It did yeah. come off as you not guy. caring, though. <laughs> it, did, it did come off like that, though. Yeah, I, I either misinterpreted at the time or I am misremembering now. And either way, thank you for clarifying. <laughs> Can we get five more gifted subs? So probably... <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> this is we can get a hero point for it. That's right. I I think that is good enough to earn one hero point. I love receiving the rating good enough. Thank God. <laughs> good enough, max at three. Recap passable. Excellent. Thanks. <laughs> Skill check pass. <laughs> Why are my hands sweating? <laughs> While that going on, as much as I summarize, you all get your money and stuff and everything. Last episode, uh, I think that I would like to start us off uh, rewinding a little bit of you all leaving the Queen's Palaster, mm. giving you all time to think about of what you've accomplished. Uh, and you are able to talk to Curtinan. You have received a mission and you're heading all the way back to Elma's. You know, with cart and tow, Hart, presumably, I assume, is pushing the cart. Yay. And then, of course, That's Gray. Strong. Is like Gray, are you just sitting aside saddle with a crossbow or anything? Just uh, chilling yep, out on the cart? Uh, she's sitting on the side. She's got her crossbow like resting uh, against her lap. She's kind of she's she's kind of zoning out because uh, that was a little emotionally exhausting for her. Uh, uh, she, she's uh, she's like <laughs> stares at the ground. <laughs> oh, Froggy, five seconds. And uh, and for Talim, what's Talim doing on the cart? You said that we are doing a um, a like a rewind. Time. This is a uh, this is us coming back from the from the the street festival in the cart. This or? is where you're coming back from, Curtinan. Oh, from Curtinan. Okay, I was like, I didn't realize we took the cart with us. Um, uh, I don't oh, that's know, right. Oh, that's right. The, the yeah. logic is a bit weird, isn't it? Sorry. Let me yeah. recap my own bullshit. <laughs> 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 That's right. You went for the parade. You went to Elma. You dropped everything off. You got your money. You stayed there for a bit. Then you went off to go talk to Kurt. That's what happened. Yeah. My bad. Sorry. It's been a bit. <laughs> it's been like three <laughs> weeks. It's been a while. And I got to check all my notes. I have this Google document. I'm like, <laughs> yeah, that, that's so, what threw me off. I was like, wait. My bad. Second. No, you were right. My bad. A <laughs> lot of things to track in. I think it's profiling that you turned Hart into a rickshaw driver immediately. <laughs> That's nah. fucked up. <laughs> Back to that. Just because he's just, just, just big as a horse, you know? <laughs> um, so, I guess, you know, like, as they're coming back from the meeting with Kurt and Anne, uh, Talim is, first off, he's kind of... Uh, the vibes that he got from the con oh God, what is their organization called? The the con the conservants. Conser the conservants. The conservants. Yeah, the vibes that he got from the conservants. Are, he's like, it's like, ah, it's a bit sketchy. <laughs> do you bring that up to, him, to to everybody else as you're all leaving? It's probably yeah, a good time walking. to talk. To yeah, them. that's that, that's yeah. that's probably one of the things. He's like, you know, it's like, so what did the, everyone think of the? Conservants and their methods, I suppose. <laughs> it's kind mm. of alarming that he made the conserving of life into a game in front of us and also gave us a part in that he was entrusted with. That was a lot of responsibility to give some people that you 
just met. But also, that aside, I think he's a pretty good guy. I mean, Frork seems to think so, and he'll hold up his little fork and waggle it. Swing, swing. Do you give Frork a little voice? No. No? <laughs> no, he just waggles it at him. <laughs> is that what Fork thinks? He's, he's, he's yeah. using his prongs to send psychic waves directly into my brain. He's speaking to me. <laughs> <laughs> he waggles um. the prongs of the Fork near his horns. Just whoa, 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 whoa. Um, so, like, Talim kind of nods. He's like, I can understand that if he has been alive and he like the, like there's air quotes you know for a rather long amount of time his state may wear on his humanity for lack of a better term uh, it's Yelp something uh, it's something that many of the undead will deal with as well myself included but it was strange to toy with the lives of others like that I apologize. I was of no help in that situation. I... It was a lot of responsibility poured on us at the moment, and I did not know how to respond. Yeah, yeah. I yeah, had it, to. It was a hard choice, if anything. But I think my father would enjoy Kurdman. He finds a way to... Um, bring purpose to something, even when it's no longer given a purpose for the rest of the world much like how the undead of the world and no excuse here to leave sorry if i'm pro approaching a a subject here but uh, a lot of people in the world seem to not enjoy the presence of undead while most people don't seem to dislike these guys um i can only assume it's because people are downtrodden towards the undead or maybe it's because some of them wants to eat people but you know you know each to their own perhaps it's uh and i think part of it is more than likely their quote-unquote sanitary approach to all of it whereas i think so yeah, 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 yeah. those people such as like myself clean and Talim will like motion to the, you know, the arrows sticking out of his back are oftentimes reminders of people's mortality and the myriad violent ways in which we can all be cut short. Yeah, yeah. Like the idea of living longer than you could sounds like a great idea. Like Fork, what was it, 18? Mm -hmm. So my age, I die uh, and you know, that's it. But if you have the opportunity, you could keep on going about, keep still doing something. That sounds like a good thing. Yeah. Uh, while most other people, if you would approach them with something like, oh, you can live for hundreds of years longer than you should. Most people would think that sounds great. But when you start putting in the concept of turning into a walking corpse or that you have to survive of other people's living essence, stuff tends to look a little bit less approachable, I think. I don't mind. Everyone needs to eat. I just Everyone does is just eat. other people. <laughs> what, what makes it easier for me to ha digest? <laughs> Uh, good one, bro. Good one, good one. Thank you, thank you. A rock falls on you. No! <laughs> I catch the rock. <laughs> Make a reflex save. Uh, what makes it more easy, easy for, for me to digest, for lack of a better term, now that I've come up with that one, uh, is that the people were willing he made it sound like like they're they're happy to continue serving a purpose in this world even after they've passed on that was the impression that i got that it was all consensual which changes things if he was just you know like if somebody's like oh i'm gonna when i die 
you can eat me and then you can keep living to keep doing good things in this world. Like, I, I get that. Sure, eat me too. I don't know. Yeah. Thumbs Different up. cultures and oh, yeah. all that. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If I die, please eat me. Yeah, exactly. Oh. I would like to not eat a child, thank you. L like, if you need to. Okay, if I need to. I yeah. don't know if we can eat, uh, play. <laughs> Oh. We don't talk about what a knoll can and can't eat. Only oh. one way to find out. Oh. Uh -oh. Dalim like crosses his arms like, I'd prefer not to be eaten. Not again. <laughs> oh, yeah. Sorry. Touchy subject. I forgot. That sucked. Oh, God. That was awful. I don't want to remember it. Moving on. Anyway. <laughs> anyway, I assume you all want to continue on and get back to Elma's. Yes. Yeah. Uh, Correct. Excellent. On our way back to Elma's, yeah. can we can Beetle request that they stop very briefly so he can pick up some some balls of ball balls of yarn. Yeah. Where are you gonna buy them? Where I, I I live here. I assume I know the yarn shop. <laughs> <laughs> there's a okay. there's a crap right. shop. Oh, All right, I assume I know the society the, frog. No. Yes, a, a wool shop. A the, society with a plus two bonus there, the Froggy. The tailor shop, the yarn shop. I That's can't believe a Froggy total went of twenty-five. To, I can't believe Froggy went to the soup store. <laughs> I yeah. got the Michaels. Hey, chat. Uh, give me a name of a of a tailor shop. Yarnum. Oh my God, that's a really good. Oh, that's a good one. Yarnum. Okay, we'll take that. <laughs> Hard yarn up, when you okay. walk in, when you walk in through the door, the smell. what's that smell? Welcome to yarn bar. It's blood. <laughs> it's twine. <laughs> <laughs> it's yarn and twine. Oh my god! Okay, so as you guys, uh, no, for some reason, ah, I know what happened there. Um, you guys like to move your tokens to the. We'll get you to the south of the ponds, blaster here. Here, let me get you all. We are forcibly removed from the Queen's Palaster. I'll miss you, Beastock. I'll miss you. Uh, goodbye. Woo. And you all get moved over. Do, 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 do. <laughs> and you're heading yourself back to the Pond's Palaster. And the place that you see, called Old Yarnum, uh, you see it there. It's a beautiful, cute little area. A bit dingy, obviously, here in the Pond's Palaster, the poorer part of the districts. And... Uh -huh. Uh, you see that there are a array of just kind of linen-like clothing and stuff. Some of them have some color to it, you know. Like, but there's a cute couple of clothing with like some uh, very like beautiful purple or red dyes, which you know would be very expensive and stuff to make. Uh, but you stand in front of Old Yarnum. Thanks for letting me make this stop, guys. I just want to pick up some uh, some balls for Vita. It was so nice of her to make these scarves for us. Yeah, this was very kind. Now we're matching. This shop smells really good. You're gonna like it. And he opens the door and the little bell goes tickle, 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 tickle. <laughs> Gray's gonna like take one step in there, take like one whiff, and then she just starts sneezing like a dog that can't stop sneezing. You enter inside. You enter inside and you see this sort of like kind of hunched over person or so, or like these big little like spectacles on and on one side of the spectacle is a uh, like, like, you know, like those little magnifying like little things where you can oh, extend yeah. it and see a bit closer. You see him kind of hunched over and uh, you, the person turns over and it's a little old man and he kind of hobbles up to you and goes, it's so good to see you for new customers. <laughs> and you see one of his eyes are bulging. <laughs> It's not oh. actually like a magnification from his glasses. So he takes off the glasses and it's just one huge eye. Yeah, it's still the same. <laughs> Why did you do this? Oh. It was so cute. What do you mean it wasn't so cute? I made this myself with my children. You know, and my grandkids also help me. <laughs> You're so dear. <gasps> hey! Oh, hey! Uh, 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 That's his so hey! Oh! Hey! <laughs> We're looking for some, uh, some colorful yarn. Oh, yarn you're looking for. I can help you. <laughs> he 
Beetle's not laughing. Sorry. <laughs> Beetle's not laughing. It's Beetle. Sorry. Gray's still sneezing. <laughs> oh, oh you precious dear. Let me help you with your clothes allergies. There's threads and dust everywhere. And he'll hand you like a little ointment or so and be like, put this around your nose. This will help you, dearie. Does he does he hand it to her with his strong hand? Yes. Gray <laughs> <laughs> will take the ointment and like rub it in her palm, and then she just like smashes her nose into her palm. She's just like. <laughs> it smells wonderful. She is happy and content. Her tail wags. Hey pop, hey pops. So my boy over here, my brother, my little home slice, that guy. He he wants to. Uh, get some twine for a girl and he like lo looks at at the shopkeep like uh-huh uh-huh you get it get it get it get it, get it. see the old oh man will look at you heart and will look at beetle and go i don't know what milkman it was but that's weird anyway i will help you <laughs> you see that he will begin to shuffle over and it kind of like come this way to the back of the store the store by the way is cute as fuck <laughs> like this thing of like I the like most him. adorable little little like clothing oh, thread yes. store material everything's all nicely organized you see there's some kid toys over there on the side of the counter or you think the grandkids still play Beetle gives Hart a look like he's betrayed him, and he's so like flustered, <laughs> and he just like hurries and scampers after Pops, and uh, he's like, "Yeah, uh, you're you're just I guess your most colorful yarn, please, just a couple balls, uh." Oh, of course. Here, please look at my new display pieces. These are what I'm using to help advertise my goods. And he'll oh. kind of hold up these little display things. They're little bears that are propped up with a little rod and they're all in little clothing pieces. And some of them oh. have little yarn scarves and everything and then different, like a, there's a rabbit and then a little, you know, there are other animals and this weird like, little homunculi looking <laughs> motherfucker and all this other stuff, like just weird creatures. And he's like, and he's like, here, just look to see if any of them wearing yarn is to your liking and I will find the ball for you. This is so cute, oh my gosh! So Beetle will pick out uh, some blue yarn, some red yarn, some yellow yarn, some purple yarn, white hey. yarn, like a cream, hey, like he's five right. would there, balls of yarn. <laughs> would there possibly be like a, a wolf kind of stuffed animal anywhere? Absolutely. Gray would like to pick one up. You pick it up. stare at it. It looks back at you with little beady eyes. You make me cry. No, she will do uh, look over at the uh, the shopkeep and she'll go, "Hey, how much is this one?" Oh, um, I didn't plan on selling them, but that one cost me about two silver. I guess I'll if you make you it a, worth my while, I'll give you five. Deal. <laughs> <laughs> And she'll hand over the uh, the silver. He bites one of the coins. Go good. It's not poisoned. <laughs> Puts it I, away. I, I should hope not. <laughs> Gray will 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 put that in her little pack. It is sticking out of the uh, the side pack. Her little little paws out. Aww. So hey, for Mr. go go ahead. Yeah. Go ahead. Hey, Mister. Uh, quick question. Yeah. Oh, my You're name's not Mister, by the way. Oh, what is I it? have a name. What is your name? God damn it, the chat. What's the name? Please don't be yeah, yarn what's, gore. Please yeah, don't be yarn the, gore. What's the name, chat? No! <laughs> yarn gore of it's yarn. Yarn gore. It's, Fuck it. It's, it's yarn gore. It's yeah, yarn gore. Okay. Uh, I'm yarn gore. <laughs> nice to meet you. And you I see, he's like a mixture. Gore. Like his ancestry is like a mixture of goblin and gnome. This okay. is fucked. <laughs> I was gonna spend a narrative declaration to make him a flesh warp. Go for it. I'll allow it. Yeah, okay. 
Okay, I, I spend a narrative declaration to introduce the flesh warps to uh, rot grind. Uh, so for anyone who wants to know what a flesh warp is, it's everything. You choose what your origin is, but you're so far removed from what it once was due to a curse, a disease, an alchemical thing, whatever. Sometimes it's inheritable. Sometimes it's a random thing. Some people get it from literally magic radiation poisoning. Um, and, I believe uh, Yongor is one of the Avengers. And uh, th this little guy, this little guy right here is perhaps a guy who got a curse. Maybe he, uh, maybe he was a young man at one point and got, uh, you know, he angered a witch. <gasps> or maybe he worked in the Pons Palaster sinkhole and he got uh, touched by some alchemical radiance from the depth below. <laughs> There's a bunch of shit that could have turned him into this. But he is now no longer what he once was, but probably a gnome of some kind. Uh, Poor guy. Yeah, you too can play a flesh warp, Shad, in Pathfinder 2nd Edition. critically fell at birth. <laughs> That's him. <laughs> <laughs> Um, so anyway, now now we have that yeah. established. Did you want to ask him something? Or? Yeah. So uh, you are are you a tailor or do you just sell the materials? No, I do everything. I need Could this you? piece, and he shows off clothing which looks gorgeous because it's in the back room, and there's most of his better pieces or so because he doesn't want to oh, put no, up the too expensive room. stuff. Yeah, uh, <laughs> we're stuck, and. And, he did, and he's showing all these great clothing and stuff. This guy seems to be just a master tailor. He knows exactly what he's doing. Oh, and everything's well organized and labeled. Like this is, he was meant for this, you can tell. If this was your skill doing all of this, I would like you to be the one to take a crack at this. Uh, Hart takes off his uh, cloak from a great cat. Uh, and he puts it down uh, on like just yes, some little table or whatever in front of him. Uh, this is the cloak that Hart has been wearing for the entire uh, Rot Goons adventure. Yeah. And he put he puts it down and he goes, uh, "This is um, the only thing that my father ever gave to me. This is the pelt I was swaddled in." when I was given to the people to raise me, could you perhaps fix it up? Because every single fight that we have had has probably made a mark on this stupid, uh, like, very torn, ragged, great cat pelt. Like it's a tiger pelt or a leopard pelt of some kind, but it's like a foreign great cat beast's pelt that is just probably was at one time very well kept. And it's not anymore. Aww. You see, he'll look at it and be like, Yeah, it's a game, but let's take care of your friend first. Of course, of course. I'll leave it here with you then. Of course, we can get it done done real quick, like, and you, you'll, <laughs> he points to you, Beetle. It's like, you found the yarn you wanted? Oh, yes, these five, please. These five. Yes. <laughs> any little <laughs> grabby hands will come over, we'll... He'll take up the yarn and stuff. Customer. <laughs> of course. <laughs> um, he will he'll look at the yarn and stuff and be like, did you want to make something with it? Oh make something. Uh I I was gonna give it to her because she she made us these. So I just thought we should give her something back. And he grabs like the sides of his scarf and he holds it up. I I don't of course. I don't know what to make. He'll he'll put it all in a, a little knapsack, uh, with old yarn on, kind of like printed on the side. <laughs> <laughs> and he'll he'll get all ringed up in this old little like mechanical register thing, shing, and a little in a bunch of coins jingle inside. Uh, it'll go. Um, for all of this yarn, it'll be two gold. Of course, no problem. And nice. he'll pull out two gold and hold them up to him. He'll go peek. He'll take it and put it in. King, and he'll write on like a little piece of paper and hand you this. You know, like that old, like sturdy Aww. paper. It's good paper. Yeah. <laughs> he goes, Here you go. Thank you so much, Yarn Gore. Absolutely. Now, 
As for your cloak, he hobbles over. This will be a bit complicated. And for the speed. Oh, we can get it done now. I have the oh, facilities. Wow. And he kind of pushes back a little uh, a row of clothes. You see there's a little, even f further back into the room, there is a, uh, pretty much he has various machines that can help him do his job. And so he's like, it, you is, want it done now? It'll be 10 gold. Jacob's ladder back there. <laughs> it's like electricity just arcing through it. <laughs> <laughs> I swear. Hey, Yarn Yarngor, Yarngor. What yes. if, uh, could you? Not that I would ever tell that someone as skilled as you ain't doing their best whenever they can, but, um, Hart slides over his, um, basically his just 65 gold pieces. That's what, um, uh, specifically the layout, the, the origin, the basic cost layout for uh, his his new thing that I want. Uh, I, um, I I want my armor runes uh, checked. Uh, I, I want my okay, 160, okay, to okay. Yeah, um, 160 gold pieces uh, is slid over since uh, armor runes do not need to just be magical. They can also be super well crafted. Whatever. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, he yeah. understands the assignment and he goes, Ah, of course, I will need your help, though. I need two assistants. One, actually, your friend there, and he points to Talim, would be perfect for this. And I need you, he points to you, Hart, to also help. Of course. And he points as he kind of look points. You see a piece of machinery, not the not the whatever ladder, but there's like a, a little headpiece with little like antenna things out with balls at the end of them. And, uh, and it is connected via a wire to a machine that looks like it's a bicycle. <laughs> he's, like, he's like, this is what I need. The wire here is a bit, eh, it needs to be held. And, but of course, someone of living would be shocked awfully fierce. But I need someone to pedal this bike. This is how I can do it so fast. It electrifies me. I'm capable of Normally my being kids do it, but they're not here today. <laughs> Yarn gore fucks! Yarn gore, no! A heart, I think that perhaps you might be better suited on the bike for reasons. What's a bike? He like points to the like thing. The thing? The, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I can sit on it. I, Yes. Yeah. And I suppose I can hold the wires. Just can you can you like extend this thing? <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, yeah. You can. Nice. My legs would not fit that. Yeah, you're able to uh, maintain make adjustments and send it just yeah. fine. So you hop on the bicycle, right? Yeah. Um, a yarn guard will instruct you to lean to hold these two wires or so and try to keep them together. But of course, yeah. like someone with bare hands would be electrocuted to hell. But you're undead. You're a ghost. So this will be a little yeah. lot easier for you. He goes, yeah. good. And he takes the little helmet piece with the antennas and boop, right on top of his head. And he gets everything ready uh, for for Hart's cloak. And so he goes, all right, when I say go, you must pedal as hard as you can. You must electrify me and you just hold on for dear. He looks at you. Undead life. <laughs> Beetle leans over to Grady. He's like, "Is this a fire hazard?" Like, she just shrugs. Oh, just in case, he hands you a bucket filled with water. <laughs> I don't want my shop to burn down. I heard there was a recent fire at another shop nearby. I don't want to be that guy. Yeah, that would be not preferred. Yes. <laughs> and he goes Let's over. Let's get this going. Uh, heart starts to pedal. <laughs> All right, roll me in athletics. Heck yeah, I rolled a 10 for a total of 28. Okay, you're, you're going, doo -doo 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 -doo, but you feel like you're not going fast enough, Hart. <laughs> you're not, you're not feeling like you're not going fast enough, but of course electricity <laughs> starts to go through and you're seeing, um, you're seeing, you're seeing our friend here basically to go, he starts to go faster as he's working on your cloak, like quickly interweaving things, all this other stuff. Um, 
but for Talim, they're firing. Exactly, they're firing because of all of you. Talim, roll me a fortitude save oh with a God. plus two bonus because you're undead. No way. Okay. No way. You can do um, next. Plus two bonus. Okay, there we go. Um. Plus. Wait. Plus two. Plus two. When it brings up the window, there's an area for your circumstance bonus. You can just put two yeah, there. Yeah, th that's what I was trying to. There we go. And I rolled a. Hold on. Wait. Yeah, a total of a twenty-six. Awesome. You feel you're holding on. <laughs> you're holding on, but just barely. You're like, <laughs> you know, like, you're like you're like if you had bones in you still, they would be shining right it, now. But you're it, like, it, <laughs> it, <laughs> it's home alone. The <laughs> Ray is just watching. You're, She's just like, whoa. You're hearing yarn gore as electricity starts to spread, going faster, faster. He's going faster and faster. Heart, roll me another athletics to pedal harder. Heck yeah. <laughs> Beetle's mouth is open. He's just staring. I roll a total of 32 as Hark really starts waving back and forth on this bike and you see like the screws, the bolts in the floor just... The thing is shaking, like if this thing was not anchored to the ground and stuff, you would have cat you would just erupted through the wall. You're like, Vring! like you're generating a lot of electricity, but at Talim, it's now harder because there's more electricity going. Roll me another fortitude save. Oh, or joy. if you have anything inventive you want to try. So while this is happening, yes. while this is happening, uh, like, because there's more electricity, like, filling up in the air, Gray's fur and mane is just starting to just <laughs> freeze out and floop. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, would um, I be able to possibly use a uh, arcana check? Um, to use magic to better uh, channel the forces of the electricity. So Absolutely. Is, Let's give okay. it a shot. All right. Yeah, there we go. There we go. You know, because I, I don't put electricity through my sword all the time, you know? Just yeah, you, 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 you recognize that. this. Yeah. Yeah. I recognize this in, yeah. thir in theory. Yeah. 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 There you go. That's yeah. Funny. <laughs> Yeah, with that 30, 30, you're still going, you know, and all that, but you're still. <laughs> <laughs> it's still channeling through, and you see Yarn Gore just bing, just going really, really fast. And you're like, one more, one less more. <laughs> is, ta is Talim, is, is every single rounded part of Talim like pointy? Is he jagged <laughs> in his outline? Does he look like the 10,000 volt ghost from Scooby-Doo? Oh, you, you're just hearing the Tesla thing. <laughs> uh, oh yeah, Tesla coil. So finally, heart, one more roll, one more Heck athletics. Yeah. Uh, hey, Soren. Yes. Can I just thematically spend one of my focus spells, Key Rush? since it thematically just lets me go faster. Oh, you, Absolutely. So what I will do, I will give your, if for using that, um, yeah. your roll now has fortune on it, which pretty much means it's like advantage oh. from D&D &D 5e. You roll to nice. roll, roll, roll it twice, you take the highest. Heck yeah. You needed oh, that. Because the first one is a three. Uh, uh, which is a total of 21, which is still, you know, good. But let's see if I can get a higher one. It is. It's a 31. It's 10 <laughs> points higher. It's like, you try, you feel like you didn't need that extra boost because you feel like you're just a tiny bit slower. You sort of notice yourself slip up a bit. You're not able to try to get on the little grips on, the, on your feet very well, but you're able to, bling, you know, you're still able to keep it up. Talim, one final <laughs> bout. You're now in line with the electricity. Oh. This will be easier for you now. <laughs> He's turning into Baker! <laughs> arcade on your fortitude. I'm going to do arcade as Talim will continue to try to channel the electricity as this pitch just gets higher. Can we get much higher? It's a total of a 30. And with that, 
you see you see Yarngor basically just me you, you see like there's like Nirvana like he's in perfect sync with, with time and he finishes he hit a hundred cups of coffee yeah exactly <laughs> and he finishes the cloak and um and the helmet falls off and you all can see that you can rest now and he holds up the cloak up and he goes it's alive it's alive sorry bad habit here you go <laughs> oh my god and he will hand it off to heart all completed you now have your rune on and everything so are we standing the three of us are standing next to each other uh talim is like vaporing just ectoplasm talim coughs uh, like a, a, a spectral cloud of smoke comes out from under his veil yarn gore is smoking from his head <laughs> and talim uh, and heart is just steaming yes <laughs> good job good job good job good job good job he shakes hands with uh, bo uh, with both Yarngor and Talim like three times at least Gray is a giant fluff ball right now like there is no knoll there there is only fur <laughs> I can't believe you're a Pomeranian bloodline <laughs> oh my god <laughs> I don't have words for what I've experienced today. It was it's called teamwork. Shocking. You took my joke. <laughs> <laughs> How does it feel, Cabal, to know someone took your bit? <laughs> it's an electrifying experience. <laughs> Can we get five subs to silence Cab for five seconds instead of Froggy? Come on, come on. <laughs> What is this? Everything just smell like ozone for a second. <laughs> Yongar will collect the money and everything else, and, and you'll see his hair is all stuck up with arcs of electricity going here and there. His beard's all frazzled, and he'll be like, Thank you so much, friends, for your patronage. Can Yongar help you in any other way? Um, anything else we could think of? Uh. I don't know. Is there anything else you guys need? To leave? You want some yarn? Some sticks? Some yarn? No, I do want to know where you go. Where heart? Where did you get your striking rune from? I like that. I like that rune. Oh, these? Uh, I got. I got them from Diamond Hands, actually. Oh, uh, I remember that guy. Yeah, yeah. I saw these fancy, like little, just silken cufflets. And I asked oh. if he could put them inside of my, inside of my bracelets here. And uh, yeah, no, no biggie, no biggie. I can just punch harder. It's a little bit nice. Nice. Oh. Grace gonna like, while everyone's talking, she's gonna like slowly reach over with her like super static charged fur and just poke Beetle. <laughs> Beetle dies. Call me one d four. Oh no! <laughs> Finally. Beetle, you take three, three electricity damage. <laughs> yeah, bam! He just gets yeah, you. The beetle jolts vertically, and there's like a little black spot on the floor where he was standing. <laughs> I can't believe Beetle just got paid. Be Beetle gets like in Looney Tunes when they are like shocked or burned so hard that they look like yeah. a just a burnt match. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> And he's just standing there and he slowly creaks to look up at Gray, just looking at her. She's just staring forward, completely stone-faced. <laughs> she doesn't even acknowledge it. <laughs> I think that'll be all. Thank you, Yard Gore. Thank you all for your patronage. <laughs> See you okay. next time. Okay, and he bye. takes one of the stuffed animals and makes it wave its hand. <laughs> fast <laughs> he was such a nice guy i wonder how long his store will stay up that seems like a really big fire hazard <laughs> i've been long enough he, i think that he's a professional i think he can fix it <laughs> he just kind of pats the the little wolf plush he bought <gasps> what'd you buy that for did you buy that for yourself i did it reminds me of my daughter she just holds it up. She just kind of wiggles the arms around. How old 
Who's your daughter? All your kids are grown up now, right? Oh, they're all very old now. <laughs> they're grown and they have their own children. <laughs> Man, or they're I, dead. <laughs> I was oh. wait for you to fucking answer. Like, how old is your daughter? Oh, she's oh she's the ripe old age of dad. He's like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> I've had many that. children. <laughs> many children. Many have gone off to do their own things, or they're gone, and that's oh. just the way of life. Oh, do you keep in touch with any of them? Oh, no, no, they're off doing their own thing, and they're very far away. I mean, is that a thing if, that, that you mm -hmm. do, or is it specifically, like, a null thing? It's usually a null thing. Oh, okay. We raise them until they're well enough to go off on their own, and then they go and raise their own children. Oh. That doesn't mean I love them any less. Oh, of course not! Just, if you clearly care about it and miss them, if you're buying stuff like that, it'd be nice if you kept a little in touch. I would too, but it doesn't always work like that. Oh. You can say, like, while that conversation is going on, like, Gleam actually looks over, it's like, it's understandable that Grey does not keep in touch with him. Distances are vast, and oftentimes ways of communicating are dependent on even if you know the location uh, the, I am sure I might perhaps have family in Quanshir but to seek them out in such a vast space as just Quanshir itself is like finding a needle in a sand dune oh. aren't you a wizard though? can't you just like you know like ask the universe where they are Mages, and I am not skilled in divination. Mm, Grace gonna kind of, kind of keep walking. She just kind of, and when you're my age, keeping up with twenty-three kids is kind of hard. And she just leaves it at that. <laughs> she has twenty-three kids. Damn. And she just, just kind of follows up with, and on top of that, all of their, all of their children. I don't know how many grandchildren I have. Oh. Mm, Cobalt families lot. are not like that. <laughs> My family's not li like that either. Looks at Beetle, just <laughs> <laughs> like, are you sure about that? It's in your family. Oh, yeah, I meant that, like, we're always together all of the time and know ah. where everybody is. I yeah. thought you meant from a numerical standpoint. Oh, no, no, <laughs> we're very much like that numerically. Maybe even a little bit more. It's kind of daunting. <laughs> the family knows where the family is. <laughs> the family always knows where the family is. Godfather theme kicks in. <laughs> <laughs> On Godfather theme, let's go ahead and take our first break and also answer questions that Twitch chat and folks have Yay! in our break time. Yay! If you're on YouTube, if you come on the Twitch stuff, you get to uh, have a little Q&A session with us, but for the magic of editing, you might see it just go to the next thing. See you guys in a break. Oh, man. Hey, you got to be silent for five seconds. Somebody did fucking get the subs. I was silent for five seconds. It's over. Yeah, they no, did no, it yeah. again. <laughs> well, the was going. I, I want oh to hear Beetle say it. I want to hear Froggy say the funny. I want to hear Froggy say, Welcome back to Rat Goons. No, I don't need to. You said it. You said oh. it. I don't need to. It is. No, I have to be silent for five seconds. I'm the Froggy Lock now. <laughs> oh. <laughs> you mold like a piece of heart's clay body where it's like, <laughs> like a little shittily carved beetle. <laughs> You put it up to your hand, and you do like that little like thumb hand motion, and like wah, 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 wah. <laughs> We need a beetle sock puppet. Ugh. Dude, that would be a great merch item. Like cute little sock puppets. Write that down, like, write that down! Like like like, like, like puppet puppet, like good high quality ones, but it'd be like a cute little merch item if we ever get <sighs> famous enough. I was gonna say what you could do is you could just get like beetle socks and they can be used like sock puppets. <laughs> oh my god, and there's teeth around the ankle, so it's like you're putting your foot inside the kobold. I <laughs> oh. Alright, this is a horrible idea. I know. All right, Besides of floor merch, <laughs> you all return back uh to Alma's Tavern. You see that it from looking through the windows and the lights and stuff, it seems to be pretty it's not as busy as it usually is, but Seems got some people inside, and uh, you're now at the entrance. What would you all like to do? 
So this one is called a pineapple. Uh, Hart holds up this fruit that he just brought along with him from the food, like the food tray. And he holds it out to Beetle. Oh, yeah, yeah, I know. You you guys were talking all about it. I had to try some. Yeah, yeah, no, no, that was a coconut. This is a pineapple. It's oh. different. Oh, oh, did you steal it? Yeah, yeah. Wait, our, is it stealing if it towards... was prepared for us? Yeah, I, I was given this You were pineapple. given it. Yeah. Oh. yeah. I was given it to you. Do you guys what? hear that? <laughs> you hear oh. crying. Uh, to the weast. To the, to the weast? To the weast. Mm -hmm. oh. Inside. inside the tavern? Is it outside or, or inside? Outside. Sorry. Oh. Sorry. Oh, no. <laughs> Is that a familiar cry? Uh. uh. Beetle slowly pitters and like leans around the wall. Grease, Grease shoulders slump as she like goes around the corner to kind of like get a try and try and hear where exactly yeah. it's coming from. Is uh, that? You can go and bring your tokens down. So show vision for chat. Uh, as you as you go down, look down, you see that there is a big ogre with only just wearing just oh, pants to his name. And you see, he seems to be crying. <laughs> oh, no. Uh, oh, is, is that? The, is this the ogre we saved? You recognize him as, in fact, the ogre you saved. Oh, no. I mean, I, should we? <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. Uh, probably. Grace going to cautiously approach. She's gonna, she's gonna cautiously approach. Hey, uh, you <laughs> okay? Oh, oh. You see, he kind of gets a little, little spooked by it. Oh, sorry. I thought you was one of those mean people with the swords and the shackles. No, no swords or shackles here. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm just a bit sad, you know. Sorry, I have to change this bit there. It's an ogre, he's large. Um, he's like, yeah, so it's just, uh, just a little bit worried. I'm trying to fix him. Hold up. Oh, God, there's <laughs> two of them. His, oh, no. His token's being <laughs> awfully tosis. weird. The first one he's was here, a war. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I was just, I can't release this everything. Somehow I was pardoned, but they, they took and sold off all my stuff and... <laughs> And now I have no more monies. Only got oh. just a little bag of silvers to my name, but nobody's gonna, you know, help me out here. Are you working? Don't you work with the Delvers? <laughs> I think I'm a monster. The only, only reason people talk to me was because I wore fancy clothes and a fancy hat. Now, when I show up, they think I'm just going to rob him. I never robs nobody. Hey, Soren. Yes. Can I roll a lore giant to know anything about ogres? Uh, you feel that it won't exactly give you the information you want, but it'll be okay. better. Uh, a society will give you different information, but lore giant might give you other bits of information. Okay, I, I'll I'll take a society in that case if it's more about the how ogres are being treated that Hart has picked up uh, from from being in outset. Yeah. Yes. I rolled an eight for a total of fifteen. It's like your knowledge of them isn't isn't as great as you would hope it yeah. would be. Uh, yeah. But you know, from any impressions you got from ogres, there are folks who are. Some ogres who are very sophisticated, know what they're doing, just just normal members of society. Yeah, uh, but yeah. you know, in a lot of different places, like there's some parts of me, the inheritor lands or the solitude and stuff that ogres are make very great mercenaries, very hungry individuals, all this stuff. Um, that's what you kind of know, like just normally big brutish mercenaries usually comes to mind because that's what your knowledge of them usually would pertain. But you are aware mm. that some ogres are just High in society, you know, just like just very sophisticated, smart, everything else. They're not like they're all not just they're all not dumb, you know. They're they're 
just normal folks, just big, just big and hungry. Hey guys. Huh? Hmm. We should. We should ask him if he knows Baron. Baron? Baron, you know, Dwarven Delver guy with Nugget. Oh. Baron. The fellow with the nice dog. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, we could ask. Oh, the one with the square head. Yes. Yeah, yeah that one. Hey, hey yeah. um. <laughs> <laughs> Same brain well, cell. Let, let's walk over there, too. He looks, to, as you both hear, he looks at Bubba. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Hi there, buddy. You want a pineapple? <laughs> yeah. I want a pineapple. <laughs> Have you had one before? No. Hey, it's a pretty weird one. It's neither made of pine or an apple. It's no real reason to call it that. And he holds it uh, and uh, he just, you know, peels away the outer layer and then gives one big orange chunk, like orangey yellow chunk over to Shungus. How do you peel What's a your fucking name? pineapple? Carefully. It's heart. He's power. <laughs> strength. It's power, Soren. Okay, so you feel it. And uh, you pass it to him. He he just takes the whole thing, but leave it just one bite. Just yeah, eats yeah. that thing. He's like, it's like mm. an apple for him. Yeah. Oh, that tastes very good. Chunkus loves this. And he pats his belly. Oh. It's pretty good. Uh, it actually melts meat if you leave it in uh, if, in like a tub of meat for a long time. Ooh. Pretty good. That sounds like a great idea. I heard several delvers I used to work with do something sort of similar with their mates when they went into the deep undergrounds. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Marinating stuff and stuff like that. Do you know Baron? Well, and he kind of like kind of strokes his chin or so, it's like possibly. It's like, He's that... not a dog. I love dogs. <laughs> He's a dwarven man. He's got a little little hat with a candle, Ooh. I think. Um, yeah. I cute know dog. Baron. And he kind of he you see that Chonkus will smile and go. I used to run a business that whenever people go with Dave, that I would have my my group of little kobolds and rat folks go and scurry down and grab all the loot those folks can't carry and then they bring them to me and then I would then sell all the stuff and then I would give back a part of it to them the ones who went to go dev and I would keep my chunk oh Hark that's turns actually around very towards, fair yeah Hark turns around towards Talim and goes like that's a really smart idea. That's really smart. Yeah, you're, but unfortunately. You're a real business thinker. Thank you. Well, I think Chalkies had a really good business plan, but there was a noble person who really didn't like it when Chalkies was in the field. So he uh -huh. killed a bunch of my finders and then basically <laughs> framed me for things and nearly had my head chopped off. I don't know, but I know somebody was sure to move in on Chonkus's business. Grey bristles. She does not like this. That's so mean. Who would do such a thing? That's terrible. Oh, fucker, you know that's who. <laughs> <laughs> do you know anybody who fought with you or didn't like you before? No, not really. Chonkus usually hmm. gets along with everyone. Mm. Well, Have you killed anyone before, Chunkus? No. Chunkus, Chunkus is, tries to be as calm and as not threatening as possible. Are you a local? Do you yeah. I've been here all my lives. At, at that point, Talim kind of like, uh, he takes his hands out from behind his back and uh, folds them in front of them. He's like, Local, you say? So would you say that you have many connections? Oh no, lots of people, yeah. Some of them do, are friends with Chonkus. Do you know 
hungry people. Hungry people? Oh, yeah, everyone. everyone has to eat, right? Everyone's hungry here in the ponds, Pilasta. Would you say that uh, there are still those who were among your finders that would return to work for you? If you had a business opportunity? I think, I don't know. I think some would, but I don't think a lot of them will return knowing they're going to be murdered. Uh. Well, what if you're in a different line of business? Perhaps oh. feeding those hungry people. Hmm. I think they might like that like a little cookie place, right? I love cookies. Do Gray's like, like side-eyeing, <laughs> side-eyeing to Leem like she knows what he's doing. <laughs> Leem like tilts his head and like you see his eyes smile. He's like, do you like potatoes? <gasps> I love potatoes. He smiles. I might have a plan that you would be very interested in. I love plans. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think we have someone that you'll want to talk to. I love talking to people. You seem like a lovely person to talk to. And so are you. Oh, you're very oh, fuzzy. Great. I am. I am. She'll 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 come on over and she'll just kind of like pat him. He pats you. Her, her whole dog. body, her <laughs> her whole body just sinks under the weight of his hand. She just squeezes. <laughs> 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 her bones are old. Okay, she's just like. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. I like the idea of Chungus just like grabbing Gray and just ruffling her fur. Yeah. She's just she, a mess today, God. She's, she's for for Chungus. She's she's lapdog size. Oh no! You've become the Pomeranian. <laughs> it was oh, your no. destiny. <laughs> okay. <laughs> but if you'd like, we have someone we could uh, introduce you to, and Talim could take it from there. Ooh, My name's I Tarch. Nice to meet you, and you. They're like kind of shake everyone's hand if they allow it. Like his little fingers oh. close in your hands and boop, 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 boop. To, to Liam will attempt to shake hands. Uh, hold on, I gotta do, I gotta do that. I gotta, I gotta <gasps> roll, the... roll, 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 roll. You know, if you get on that one, you haunt the ogre. I said, no, no, I don't, don't say I don't, that. I don't want to haunt, haunt Chungus. It, it seems like it would just not be a good time. I can't find he my would, feet. He would have a horrible time. <laughs> It'd be horrible for him. Absolutely <laughs> awful. Okay, it is athletics. Okay, I wasn't sure. Um, or thieving. What are you trying to do one more time? I have He's to roll to actually... athletics to interact with things. Nope. He goes oh, right, to right. shake uh, Trungus's <gasps> hand and it passes right through. Oh, boom, boom, boom. Oh, <laughs> he pats you on the head, but kind of hover pats you. It happens sometimes. The corporeal challenged and everything like that. Oh, I see. Yeah. Tonkis. Challenged. Tonkis doesn't judge. <laughs> on you, Shungus. Mm. Talim here is attempting to open, well, not open a business. He bests in businesses. Yeah. Exactly. And I'm currently in the middle of starting a venture to feed the poor and the destitute and solve the ongoing hunger crisis here in the Pons Palaster and beyond because I am such a generous soul. <laughs> yeah, sure. <laughs> oh, choke his locks helping people who are poor. And it's of course, we're going to need individuals who know how to run businesses and handle employees and distribution of things. Tonkis. You said you're experienced with that, yes? Tonkis could help with that, for sure. Tonkis is very good with numbers. Hey, go ahead. Tell me your thing and Tonkis will math it up. Whoa. <laughs> and, um... Going to leave? Tell the thing! You can't put me on the spot like that, Froggy. You know I'm a VTuber. <laughs> I'm bad at math. 
So you ask him the math equation. <laughs> so he was like, no, no, no. I, I'm sure we can have that hashed out with, with others who will be handling most of the business when I'm not around. Four. What's four plus four? Oh. <laughs> he, like, he fucking struggles. And he's like... Hear the AOL dial-up noises. It's an old school hard drive. Just trying. All of a sudden, you hear the ding, and he's like, eight. Oh, he is good. Oh, oh booty boat, Jay, if he blushes. <laughs> Did you see that? I'm sure he could be a great backup uh, if the Elmas uh, are indisposed. Ah. indisposed. So what do you say? You wanna you wanna head inside and uh, meet some folks? It's warm. I would love it, to meet uh, people. Hopefully they aren't scared uh, of Tonkas. I. I promise you, they've probably seen scarier. Will he be able to fit through the door? We could try. <laughs> you have no idea. He could open a window and prop his head up in it. I. <laughs> Perhaps we should go ask the Elmas first about our large guest. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah, let's. Uh, we'll we'll be right back. Stay here, uh, Chungus, for a moment. It, it's okay. His fingers like, uh, Chungus, was it? Uh, what was the name of your former business? Oh, Chungus is in lootings and emporiums. Thank you. <laughs> All right, well, we we'll be right scoop. back. Like, let me scoop all you loot. Whoa! He's got That's good very, catchphrases very... and he's good at math. Very creative. All right, we'll be right back. <laughs> we'll be right back, Chungus. Okay, just don't leave me like my dad did. Oh! oh. <laughs> I, I, I just like that. that. <laughs> Never in the world, buddy. I, I imagine like Hart just like walking away. He's like, ah, oh, feeling good about it. Chugga says that and Hart just like stumbles a bit. It's like, oh. <laughs> 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 the emotional crossbow bolt in the back. The larger you are in the world of Tyne, the higher percentage that your parents leave you. I hate this. Oh no. In we go. In we go. Dramatic entry. You see, you see familiar and unfamiliar faces as you enter inside Elma's tavern. Obviously, you know, Thelma, uh, Thelma and Helma are attending the people. You see your potato mancer and you see Brug, you know, uh, taking care of his kid and a bunch of other folks that you know. Um, Thelma will look at you all and go, Oh, it's so good to see you all back. How'd your visit with Curtin and go? You know, she's uh, cleaning up some mugs and stuff. I got oh, a that's... fork! Beetle holds up a fork. No, oh, well, Sweeney. <laughs> <laughs> Talim will actually walk up to the bar is like, the visit with Kurt and Ann was eventful, but I have potential business opportunities. Thelma leans in on the, we on the cabinet. Capitalize upon what we have already established. Business, huh? You know I love business. <laughs> 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 She just turns into she has a stroke and turns into a fucking hard drive. What type of business are you thinking of, sweetie? So have you ever heard of what was what was his business name again? Uh, yeah, what was it? Uh, Chungus's Loot and uh, Loot Emporium? Loot and Scoop Emporium? Oh, you mean the big guy up on the side of the tavern crying too loud? Yes, yeah. him. I assume okay. you made him stop. Yes, but apparently not only does he run his own business and it's, I'm, I look, I'm going to be honest. We're probably going to wind up trusting you with the math on this one, especially what? because you're going to be getting the biggest cut of it. But apparently he has connections all over Pond's Plaster, has various individuals that worked for him, i.e. A, a, a labor force. And he can probably can... lug like five 
like crates of potatoes easy. Exactly, and knows and employed many others that could also pack potatoes and deliver them. You see that Thalmo kind of Robert Tanner? I mean, sure. I'm down for what do you want us to do? All we need to do is have a place to store things. Have a mm. place to store things and let them work. And, and look, I'm going to be completely honest. You could probably pay him in potatoes. You see, Thalmo will kind of think of it or so. It's like, no, hey, tell him he can hang out in the back with all the hay. He can't fit in here. <laughs> and I'll figure things out with him later. Perfect. It looks Go like we might have. <laughs> Talim turns around and is like, we might have a distribution network. <laughs> well, you turned to Hollick and say that? Sorry. No, yeah. I. Uh, oh, Hart. Okay, Hart. my bad. Yeah. Hart just walks over to Hollick and goes, so there might be a guy uh, that's like. 10, maybe 11 feet tall. He will be residing outside of your alchemy business in the back. Ooh, wonderful. I'm so happy yeah, to yeah, have yeah. more friends. Oh, and speaking of which, you two can leave. And you see Hollock will kind of motion to it. He's having tea. And uh, two people who are sitting there just kind of nod. They seem to be kind of cloaked individuals. They both just kind of like, <laughs> like push the chairs away oh. and, and uh, leave. <laughs> Sneaky, sneaky alchemy business going on. I sneak, I sneak. I love I'm, revolutionaries. I'm still making sure the business flows. <laughs> <laughs> of course, Oleg. Um, do you want in on this? Do you want to, do, do you need a guy to lug around things for you? Oh, that would be lovely. Uh, but of course, with the so-called, uh, potato business you all are doing I would love to be of assistance you may need some alchemical assistance to make sure the potatoes stay nice and fresh and oh and maybe oils to assist with them <laughs> of course of course also don't forget about it he, he taps his temple um fermentation and uh, the liquefaction of potatoes into a ethanol of course, I'm yeah, more yeah, than yeah, happy yeah, yeah. to help. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, I always, I know that alchemists love their distilled alcohol for work, right? For work. Yes, of course. Right. For work. For, for work. Absolutely. For work. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice, <laughs> nice. Yeah. He uh, winks. <laughs> Hart laughs a little bit, uh, looks uh, looks around. He he's still like, he he wants to bring as much things to Holic as possible, just to try to pay him back as much as he can. Yeah. Why don't you and your friends come and have some tea with me? <laughs> okay, I'll, I'll I'll gather the tea. Holic Holic smiles at Hart, but deep in his eyes, there's a a hidden burning rage <laughs> a fury a fury a horse born uh, fury ah hark's poison the poison for heart <laughs> the heart meant for the poison meant for heart um, put that there so Jack can see the art heart walks over and he gathers uh, the team to just go oh yeah Holic invited us to sit down and have some tea with him I love tea uh, while y'all are doing that, because, you know, tea is a, uh, you know, a corporeal thing, Aline will actually head out and go let Chungus know that he can chill in the back. Where awesome. The, uh, like the hay and everything is at. Yeah, to help summarize, you'll go tell Chonkus and then Chonkus will get to the back door. Thanks, funny, funny, ghosty man. <laughs> and you see, in, in Chonkus will uh, settle in and one of the hay beds meant for horses yeah. <laughs> and he'll just make oh. himself at home you know oh, yeah. Yeah. so the big guy will go into there um but Hollock has invited you all for tea and he's like he starts pouring out little cups for whoever joins him yeah grail joined she's 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 willing to give it another shot and hopefully not respond badly 
Oh yeah, Apologies this time you don't there have was a, a wasp in my room. <laughs> oh. Yeah, I saw your DM. I was like, okay, let me delay. Because <laughs> you have <laughs> an internal battle. So wait, are are you saying from the last time you have PTSD? Shut up. Oh. <laughs> oh. 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 <laughs> 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 I regret nothing. <laughs> Pollock uh, also waves you over to lean to come yeah. join or so. Yeah, once uh, lean comes back, he will like, pop over and, and join. How are you, Alec? What's going on? Oh, I've been busy. You know, the wow. Elmers have been making things very lucrative. Uh, a lot of people have been enjoying my concoctions. How did your meeting with the big one go? It went good! I got this fork! His name is Frork, and he'll pull out the fork and hold it out. Oh, such <laughs> a precious little item you have. Yeah! There's a man inside, and he holds the fork up really close to his head like he's listening. Well, what does he say? Nothing! Uh-huh. <laughs> Better to keep it that way. It went well overall. Um, he's going to help us out with some stuff in exchange. We have to go find something for him. We have to do a bit of delving. Oh, yeah. Oh, delving. What for? Great kind of freezes up. She uh, 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 she, and by that, I mean, I can't remember. <laughs> I, I, I also don't remember. A, a rock, I think. So the thing to, to help you remember, I understand it's been a while and <laughs> yeah, so nuts and stuff. Um, it's been three weeks. As I, I, I don't blame you. Um, basically, what you remember from Curdenan uh, is that basically he has asked you to investigate uh, the Cro Crocs gang. Uh, mm -hmm. They have the key to something um, that is to be, and with that key, there's a vault or something or a door or something uh, deep underground somewhere that needs to be found. And mm -hmm. what the Crocs gang has is the key to that. And he needs you to go investigate the Crocs game so you can eventually delve to go and find that vault to unlock it with that key and get whatever it is inside. And whatever is inside, he believes with that item, he can help cure you of your current condition. Yeah. Yes. Thank you. Right on. Uh, Beetle helps Gray relay <laughs> I assume you summarize and say all that. Yeah. And watch Holic would then go <laughs> from the, oh, the sky above. It's like you the thing. It plays like you recited that perfectly. Thank <laughs> you. Uh, my memory is I very will... good. <laughs> Evil was possessed by a sky, uh, a voice from the sky above. There's the, the plot. <laughs> <laughs> now I need a picture of just like the goons like standing and like looking up in the sky and it's like Monty Python and it's like Zorin parting the clouds. <laughs> <laughs> you know what's real funny? I, I did the play spam a lot, which is literally Monty Python and the Holy yeah. Grail, uh, but yeah, theater yeah. form. And I voice God because they didn't want to pay the licensing for the guy. Oh, that's <laughs> so good. Oh God. It's perfect. It's that's perfect. Um, so so a holic will do it kind of lean really oh it sounds very exciting there's a whole bunch you're expected to do i'm more than happy to help but i i've always been very curious to ask all of you ever since you arrived at my little store in the sewers what are you doing here good question I'm getting I'm, famous i understand that you're doing a thing but i was just always wondering what motivates you all? Like exploration. Salim starts to look down at his hands as he holds them up. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Well, I was originally looking for work to help my mom pay off her mortgage. Uh, because she told me to get a job. And then I met these guys, and then we were sent down into the tunnels, and then we met you. Oh, and is it still the same thing you're trying to do? I suppose. I've been 
been sending a lot of gold to my mom, uh, after every single job, so I guess I'm still just looking for work to help my mom buy her house. But I do sometimes wonder, can I keep sending her money from outside of... Hmm. Well, I don't know you... that I'm saying I want to travel exactly, because there isn't much out there, you know? Unless there is. There's plenty. There's so much to see, Beetle. Well, we went outside once, and there was just like a swamp, and I was like, eh, this sucks. And then we went back inside, and I was like, whew, thank goodness. <laughs> you have never <laughs> been beyond the swamps? No! Nope. I just work in the city. I, I was, think I, I think we need to go traveling. With I, a little vacation. I came here because my boat crashed, and I washed up here. Uh, and then I just walked around, uh, doing my thing, my thing, being, becoming famous. But I don't know, Holic, like. The people that I met, he looks uh, uh, over across the table, across the people that is sitting here next to him. Yeah, I, I, I know. Like at this point, I'm, I'm in it. I'm in it to be in it. Like I, I do everything for these people at this moment. Uh, <laughs> I, I, I really just want to, to do things with them. That's enough for me. Um. And I still want to make my father proud. So, uh, trying to do as many things as possible so people will remember me when I die. Oh, just try to go for glory so you don't fade away. Oh. Yeah, yeah, and I, uh, did you see, did you see, did you see my face? It's up on, you know, on the papers. Paul, like, kind of turns to his right to the wall that's near the door and sees your bounty there. It goes, yeah. oh. Yes, I saw. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm famous. <laughs> he 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 kind of taps your hand. And goes, of course you are. <laughs> he looks really proud of himself. Maybe Gray just kind of kind of chuckles. <laughs> maybe after I pay off mom's mortgage, and maybe after we set up the the potato business, maybe we could go on a little road trip and and. Uh, Ooh, do some landscape painting. We could pull up and we could do some painting of things that aren't the swamp because the swamp is so ugly and smells. Have you seen the sea beetle? Nope. Wait, have I? Has beetle seen the sea? Is is there any area so, of the town that basically there's with the it? city of Outset and there's yeah. a bunch of swamp and stuff called the Solitude around it. Uh, if you continued off to the to the west, you would eventually reach the sea and stuff like that. Uh, oh, you know okay. that the city of Outset mostly gets its stuff by airship. There's not like a bunch of airships in the world, but uh, by sea, there's a port town that goes up from there to the city and it does a bunch of stuff. There's logistics there, but uh, okay. you do know if you go further one direction, you'll get the sea. I was only asking because of our, our fishing industry. Uh, nope, never seen it. <laughs> Uh, see? Eh. Grey just her hand on top of. <laughs> Grey plaps her hand on top of a uh, beetle's head. Stop. <laughs> grab her, grab the kobold's mouth. <laughs> <laughs> I'll like her look Pass to. From... Yeah, yeah. He'll look to both of you. Like, what about you two? Well, as for me, I've spent so much of my life raising children and just doing what I'm supposed to as a mother. I never did anything for myself. So I'm spending my last time on this earth traveling. Oh, you're already traveling. Exactly. So you don't want to stay here for forever. You, you intend to leave. Eventually at some point, there's no Ooh. timer. We'll just come with well, you. Well, there next. is a timer, just not one I need to think about. <laughs> We can come with you then. We'll come with you. It, there's some places you can't follow, Beetle. She just huh? kind of pats his head. What? Are you? What? What do you mean, Beetle? To put it plainly, 
I am on a glorified death march. What's that? <sighs> <laughs> Greg kind of like rubs her snout. She's just like, I'm old, very old. My end will come in the near future. I don't know when. I'm prolonging it as long as I can, but I'm seeing the world while I can. We'll go and with I'm... you! Yeah, this okay. Is your world. <laughs> you are more than welcome to join me on my adventure through the world. I wouldn't spend it with anyone else. Beetle has gets anxiety if you go to the bathroom dog energy. <laughs> <laughs> You abandoned me! I'm going forever! <laughs> <laughs> Runs in circles. <laughs> Oliver looked to you, Talim, and go, Well? Well? Uh, and, like, Talim just kind of, like, standing there, and he's got, like, the, like, he's, like, kind of, like, sc scratching, like, the, the, the side of his face. He's like, um, I, uh, there's a lot of gold to be earned. Uh, the outset is a very uh, a, a potentially profitable place. I you see when you're not of the living, oftentimes time is it's I don't know. You don't know. Look, time is a it's not something that I keep track of normally. I have been wandering all the way from the sands, scraping by and earning what gold I can for living it. And like he goes to say like living expenses and like he kind of like stops and he looks and he like looks down at his hands and he's just like I've been earning gold where I can uh, for the sake of earning gold and I've made my way here I did the, the winds of trade are very interesting all the claims for with his hands kind of together and we're like oh is it just all about just making money. I mean, why not make money? Money makes the world go round. It does. It does indeed, but I have to ask you, is there no other pleasures in undead life for you to enjoy? Nothing Heart that will stares. motivate you. Heart fucking stares at Talim. Like, th 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 this is a, uh-huh. What do you mean? He doesn't say anything, but it's the, what do you mean you don't know? What do you mean you don't know why you're with us? <laughs> like, Talim is just like, I I'm going to be completely honest. Talim is like oblivious to that. <laughs> like, he is, he is. Of course. He's like, there's, he's like, he's like um, so, you know, I... In life, I was a, 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 at times, you know, I was destined to be an alchemist. And then, you know, I became a smuggler. And in time, I started down the path of a merchant. And, and then, and then it, then it ended. But I didn't end. And so... If I did not end, then why end trying to be a merchant and be successful when life has uh, so many pleasures to offer those who have bulging purses? What do you know? When when time is not a constraint, why not use that time to earn more gold? Or, Grey leans over, what if you followed your passions that you never got to do? Like earning more gold? No. <laughs> The rules of acquisition state that. <laughs> <laughs> she, 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 no. <laughs> but that's it. it. The more gold you earn, the more you can pursue other things. The more gold that you have, the more freedom you have, the more power you have, the more influence you have. Gold, money, currency. It is the lifeblood of everything. Do you think that we focused on gold out in the plains? Do you think we we focused on gold? 
You don't need gold to live. I didn't did know what a ever, coin was until I got it. Did you ever trade? It's not just gold. Currency and money takes many forms. Wealth is a concept, not a singular thing. I need more tea. <laughs> Tal Talim over here being like literally in the state of... Um, being, you live in a society? <laughs> uh, be, being... You can be broke, but being poor is a mindset. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> you know, it's it's just, a poor it's mindset. <laughs> just, just, <laughs> it's, I'm spinning a villain point once again. Oh, no. <laughs> I spin a villain point, and then <laughs> what you notice is that Holic. Just you blink, but Holic is no longer there. But it is a it is a man in fine oh. dress, you know, of, of fancy silks and robes, going looking at you all, saying like, like, you see, you're just small adventurers. You got to bring yourself up by the bootstraps. <laughs> no, you know, like at some point you could be something. You could own a house with a picket fence, like three stories and stuff. If you only stop drinking all this ale with pumpkin spice. <laughs> no. No. Cream exactly. looks at her tea, wondering where this came from. He goes, like, <laughs> slam, he goes to, like slam his fist on the table. It's like that's it. That's exactly it. When you the slam your fist, being undead. The the amulet is around your wrist with the red gem staring up at you. <laughs> He's just like you don't need to eat, you don't need to drink, you don't need to sleep. There is only time for earning more, for making more gold, for accumulating more wealth. Growing in power. <laughs> Talim, listen to yourself. You blink and Hall expect to He's like, oh, I see. <laughs> you never actually lived, did you? Uh. Talim like stops and he looks at Hollick and he doesn't, you know, he's a ghost. He can't get more pale, but he's looks a lot more transparent than he normally does. Oh. Uh. I... No, I... I lived. I spent times with multiple caravans and multiple troops. I have been all over the sands of Quanshir. I've wandered my way all the way to Outset. I have... I... I have... I, to what I, end? make more gold and that's it what else do you need gray like will just said. stand up and walk away she will uh -huh. leave her teacup there oh uh -huh. it's like you said talim wealth comes in different forms it doesn't need to be gold there's other things that are important like being happy and having yeah. friends and he kind of taps hard on the shoulder Park looks at Holic like, really? Really? For yes. real? For real? <laughs> I consider you a friend, huh? As do I all of you. Grips Heart's shoulder, even though you killed my horse. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I still remember your transgression. That's why you're indebted to me. Park sweats. <laughs> I hope you find whatever would fulfill your life, Talim, even though it is in this form. Gold isn't everything it helps, but it isn't all to life. How much gold do you want? When do you stop and do something else? You don't just do the same thing forever, do you? I... I don't know. Oh. I have. And he looks at him like yet again, like you know, it's, <laughs> it's Talim like looking down at his hands. He's like, I have forever <laughs> to figure it out. <laughs> mm. Oh, okay, is now ordering a drink because she needs it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna go and see on Gray. Heart uh, starts walking 
around and as he passes by he will lean down to Vina and, and go hey yo beetle wanted to talk to you and then, he, uh, <laughs> then, uh, then uh, he terrifying. passes by <laughs> oh my god the rat folk waitress <laughs> you know just trying to talk to you <laughs> just talking a mile a minute Waitress Vina will look down and go, Thank you. And you see with, with shaky hands, but you see that it's less in fear, but more of appreciation <laughs> that she will take oh. take these things. She kind of kind of sobs up a little bit and goes, I haven't received anything in a while. <laughs> and, uh, oh, and she hugs God. you. Ready? If you like knitting, uh, but I would recommend it. It's at insert uh address here. Smile. It's like she through through the sniffling and stuff like that. She'll be like, I I used to go there a whole bunch, but not not as of in the last couple of years. Because of the fire hazards. Uh, no, I just just been busy with other things. Just haven't had much of a need. Is he is he well? Uh, yeah, yeah, he's still, uh, using the bike, and Beetle stares off at the floorboards, like, oh. in the middle space. <laughs> I see. <laughs> yeah. Uh. <laughs> he snaps back. That was horrifying. I'm surprised the story's still standing. Oh, well, he's quite the professional. He helps a whole bunch of people. Uh, he, he also helps a whole bunch of Delvers with, uh, with stitching up various bits of oh. armor and things like that. He's very good at his job. Oh, that's good to know, because we might have to do some delving. For oh. Curtinid, specifically. Definitely, if you need, you know, leather stitchings and things like that, he is the one to go for. Yeah, thank you. We'll we'll definitely keep that in mind. Oh, thank you for these, though. Thank you. I'll, 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 I'll go put them away right now. And you'll see Vita will just pitter-patter, just, <laughs> just go over to the <laughs> stairs. And, does uh, she do? Does she do the mouse thing, like the rat thing, where she pitter patters away, and then looks back at whatever she was just at, just to like look back yeah. at it, and then she goes back. Yes. To just skittering away. <laughs> cute. It's so fucking cute. I love rats. He you know, grabs his fanny pack and swings it back around so it's on his ass again. <laughs> Hollock, as you as you go near the thing or so, Hollock will lean to you, Beetle. He's like, he's like, well, from all the things you've been going through, it sounds like you all need to make a plan. Yeah. Well, I know that the shop is on the to-do list, and that we've obviously got to find that item for Curdenand, and uh, it also seems like when Gray moves on from here, I think we'd all love to go with her. I think sticking together would be a very cute thing to do. Uh, but it sounds like you had to go to Mr. Croc's Den. Uh, it's a very nefarious gambling place. Oh, that sounds fine. We've dealt with gambling people before. What do you I've even... done a bit of gambling. Oh, have you? Have mm -hmm. you gambled I'm before? I'm very good. Oh, well, he takes out a pack of cards, puts them on the table, going, 
Let's play. Oh, okie dokie. Ah, and Beetle climbs up onto the table and, and sits himself. Um, I, out of character, have no idea how to play poker or any gambling games at all. It's okay. Holika looked to, Jack. looked to Gray. Yeah, it's just, we're just going to do Blackjack. Holika looks to Gray and uh, Hart. He'll be like, would you all like to? He kind of shakes the cards around. Play a game. Oh, just uh, Gray Blackjack will, 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 uh, no idea what Blackjack raise is. Raise a hand and kind of wave it like, no, thank you. She's, she's, she's having a moment. <laughs> you see Holik frown and is sad. Uh, and he'll kind of turn around and he's like, very well. It'll pass out two cards to each of you. Uh, it's Hart joining the table or staying over there? Hey, great. Just come over to the table whenever you whenever you feel like it. OK, he, he takes his, he takes the drink that he ordered uh, and he comes back to the table. Y'all play. No, this is the Gray will continue to sit uh, with her drink, nursing it and kind of just staring at her wolf plushie and just kind of casually patting it. Okay. Uh, Holic will pass you all two things. I'm doing a little experiment here, if you don't mind. Uh, basically, yeah, Blackjack yeah, yeah. pretty much is you're trying to hit 21. If you go over 21, you bust. That means you're out. Um, so he's just going to kind of... He, he, Holic, as you kind of picking up, he's trying to... Let me teach you what they usually play there. <laughs> you know, okay, so you okay, get familiar. Okay. Uh, he'll pass two cards to Talim. Talim, roll me two d20s. All right. Uh... Uh, there we go. I got a 12 and a 14. Oh, wait, no, a 12 and a 4. Okay, 12 uh, and a 4. 16. Okay, you got a 12 and a 4. He'll uh, pass two cards the Beetle. Beetle, roll me two d20s. Okie dokie. Uh, two d20s. I'll see if this idea works. Someone suggested it to me. Instead of doing cards and stuff. That is Holy shit. Yeah, that's an 18 and a... Three. Make sure you guys That's things are there. Room, baby. Uh, heart, roll me two d twenties. Heck yeah. I rolled twenty five. Uh, that that is. Yeah, uh, <laughs> you like instantly butts. <laughs> yeah, no, no. Do, do you know what it is? It, it's that heart says, "Yeah, I'll play." He sits down and he just drinks while uh, he explains the rules, and then he gets like, uh, like a a ten, and then a nine, and he goes, "Hit me." <laughs> <laughs> okay, and he puts another card. Boom! You bust him with the twenty five. Yeah. Well, so with that, it's like the objective of usually these games is to try to stay as the highest number before they try to beat my number. If you beat mine, you win some money. And if you don't, then oh well. <laughs> and so Holic will roll or basically get his stuff and see Holic will get an exact 20. Ooh. And so the only one who won was Beetle this time. And we go and like, see Yay. if we had any money. You would win. I told you I'm really, really good. Oh, we're going to go to Crocstead and we're going to leave with all their money and that thing for Kurt and Ed. So, do they, uh, do, they uh, do other games like, um, like, like arm wrestling or anything? Oh, I'm sure you could definitely gamble that way. They're yeah, very yeah, yeah, open yeah, to yeah, yeah, yeah. options, but this is the more popular one. I would. Helene, like, looks down at the cards and he's just. Browning. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, how about we put some axle sticks on? And you see Holic will put down like a couple silver, you know, on the table. Beetle puts down a gold. Oh, Heart. okay. He puts down a gold <laughs> instead. <laughs> oh, I'll meet that. Hard puts down a gold. Chalene puts down the cars and he raises his hands up and he's like, this is not a wise business venture. What? But it's fun. Why don't it's you? Fun. He leans over. Live a little. <laughs> I think I've lived enough for today. I dare you. Please. I double dog dare you. If you, I am if a you play. Man. I will not fall to such provocations. If you play right. You can earn all of our money. That's what you want, right? Right, that's 
Hi, game. buddy. I mean, it's. Don't uh, you want to get all our money? Come on, Jilly. Come there's on. There's a whole reason Croc has an entire din filled with these because uh, you'll see that Hollock will shrink some some coins. Usually, it's in the way of the house, but some games are fair as others. Only if you're skillful enough, you can make money. Are you skilled enough in the ways of tink, 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 making money? Yeah, are you skilled? Are you skilled? I see Arc, what you're doing. I see Arc what you're squints. doing. How are you skilled in drawing cards? Like huh? anything that you would do to drawing cards would be like luck or cheating. Like you would have to be a magic user for to do da. He looks it's, over at Talim. It's not cheating if you don't get caught. Hollick winks at you, happy that you picked up what he's putting down. Oh. oh. <laughs> you could cheat so hard. <laughs> <laughs> you could take all of Croc's money. You it's... could draw a card from below the table by us going through it. It's... <laughs> Here, but let's try. And he'll pass two cards over to you. Roll me uh, two d20s. Oh, it's if that's if Talim wants to continue, <laughs> roll two 16s. <laughs> yeah. So, if you want to cheat for this yeah. now <laughs> and manipulate the cards, uh, I'll allow you to re roll one of the die. Okay. Oh, hard choice. Which do, one do, of the, which one I... of the die? Yeah, we I mean, they're both sixteen. So yeah. So <laughs> just which, which one of them? Which one, Cab? That's hard. It, it just... Hey. Yeah. That's twenty-one. Yeah. That's exactly hey, what you need. Hey. <laughs> um. And so that was your ghostly thing. I'll make you do a thievery check next time, or any or related check. But he's giving you an example because Holic is teaching you how to cheat at cards. And so, oh and so he'll try to do it for everyone. And, and of course, you, Beetle, you try it this way. And for you, re-roll one the die if you try to cheat. Oh, but he'll cheat. ask you to do a thievery check this time to teach you any flaws. Okay, okay. Wait, so should I have re-rolled with the thievery check? So basically on how, uh, how we'll make this work, you're gonna roll the 2d20s. And then if you want to yep. cheat, you roll me a thievery. Like a thievery okay. or a stealth, and then uh, you then if you succeed the DC, which I'm gonna put as 15, um, you then are able to. Uh, okay, I will roll to a then, stealth. Yeah, so at that point, someone would notice you oh. if they if they did a perception check. So say for example for Holic, he would roll a perception check, and then if he beat 14, he would notice you cheating. Right. Mm. Yeah. So it's a risk of war type of deal. So he's like. And as he's teaching you that, let's say, because you got a uh, 28 and then a 7, so you can replace 7, 8, 9, 10. You can replace your 15 with the 7 to get 20 total, because you're trying not to go over 21. You're trying to stay right. high up there. And so now you're like, oh, good. <laughs> you know, then he <laughs> figures that for you. It's like, it's like, just do it like that, but don't let me see you next time. Ooh, and then he'll look the heart. Crafty. And he'll look the heart going, now you try. Okay. Okay. 21. 21, right? 21. 21. 21. 21. Yeah, so you got an 18 and he'll look at you yeah. going, would you like to do a hit? I mean, it's so close. It's, there's like no reason. like to stay reason. or get another. Yeah, yeah. I, you know, in most things, I would actually just draw another card, right? But there's no chance to doing it when my goal is not for for me to win. Actually, Joe it's brought up a good thing for investigators. Zoran could be able to use that investigator trait to tell the outcome of an action in the seemingly counted cards. I'll allow that. Oh, oh my, god. my god. That's oh a good idea. Thank you, Joe. Oh my god. I will be okay with that. Giga brain. That's cracked. <laughs> uh, yeah, trying to read the other player and what they'll. Oh. But yeah, Hart brings up the fact that his goal 
is not to win, it's for them to win. Yeah, look like the fall guy, basically. Uh, yeah, Holoc yeah, yeah. Holoc will now do his and basically throw the arrangement of the cards and stuff. He will get a total of 22. He busted. And he will pass and he'll divide the gold so everybody gets a couple silver. Everybody gets about uh, 15 silver, I think. I'm probably, the, the thing is probably wrong, but regardless of what he pays out. And so like, here you go. That was so much fun! I can't wait to go to Crocs gang! Now remember some of these tricks if you ever go over to his den. Yes, because yeah. even they themselves might cheat and you might want to pay attention. And it's also good if, and he looks over to Gray, if someone has a different perspective. Oh, I gotcha, I gotcha. Mm, a scout. A scout. Mm, Grey kind of just like lifts her head up, like her ears perking. She's like, ha. Oh. <laughs> Don't worry about it. So. I think I should worry about it. So what's your plan now? That's a good question. I suppose we could rest up for the rest of the evening and then go to Crocs, uh, tomorrow? He looks around to everybody else for approval or feedback. I mean, if anything, if we, if we run in there mm -hmm. just tomorrow, mm -hmm. um, I'm pretty sure that Croc would suspect something mm -hmm. if we just show up, the four of us, from out of nowhere, uh, with no interest in gambling previously. Hmm. So, if anything, maybe we should take some time. Maybe we should go and prepare some things. Maybe, maybe start to hit some smaller establishments. Is there such a thing? You mean hitting other, other other gambling other areas? Gambling yeah, yeah. Um, roll me society. Okay. Uh, Hart will roll a society for a total of fifteen. <laughs> Uh, you know of no other gambling area pretty much in the pond splashing. You think Croc has yeah. kind of tried his best to make a monopoly. There definitely are in other other sections, but you don't really know of them. But you do know in places like in Elmas, you can probably just head up a game with people every so often. Like pull the old yeah, Witcher yeah, yeah. Geralt thing going, you want to roll some dice? <laughs> or you want to play, play some Gwent? <laughs> you know, you can do that with folks. Yeah. So, because gambling is pretty prevalent in... in uh, taverns and eatery areas so that, you can that get some practice Gray's been, i put on my Gray's special up, bracer she, uh... i look at one of the patrons and i tell them it's time to duel oh <laughs> gray's been mentioned so she kind of like that got her attention she's kind of like ambling on over she's just like okay what <laughs> we make beetle a card ace a a rumored card ace throughout throughout the pawns plaster maybe he will be welcomed into Croc's place, even though he has history with him. He won't be killed on entry. Did you say killed? Yeah, you know, they would try to kill us. I wouldn't let them, uh, but you know. What? Wait, what? <laughs> I would what? kill them first. I'm faster. Oh, uh, 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 well, okay, Blood. so... I'd like to not die before we get to the ocean. That'd be nice. I want to see the ocean. Um, my, it's a good idea, but we'll have to set aside like a, a whole week or something for me to spread my name like that so that Brock's group hears it. It's enough time for preparation. If you think so, a week might not even be enough time, but I could just go out and start slamming. I could just, yo. I do hear that. Mr. Croc himself puts up a very high stakes game of hundreds of gold. Maybe oh. if you took oh. some of your time to go around and accumulate some money through gambling, maybe you might become a high roller at one of his tables. I get an invitation, even though you have bad, bad blood, maybe. And it sounds to me he's thing. the one you want to talk to to figure out why your missing thing is gone. Bad blood with Croc. Do I have bad blood with or do we have bad blood with Croc? I don't how know. Many, how many of have that. killed quite a bit of his men. Oh, yeah. he doesn't know that we did it, right? He's not an idiot. Oh. Deflates. <laughs> 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 um, but he knows 
as it's not personal. Grimace smile. I feel like he's the type to not care if it's personal. It's hey, bro. just business. Hey, Brog. Yeah? Does Croc take things personally or professionally? Yes. <laughs> Thanks, buddy. No problem. Thumbs up. <laughs> so let's let's do it this way. Um what I am going to do uh is I'm I'm I wanna give you a little something, Beetle. Yeah. Um roll me roll me a, a D twenty actually roll me a society check, actually. Okay. We're not gonna do we're gonna summarize your downtime activities. Is it is real it quick. Montage. We live in a smush on that twenty all right i was gonna be like let's okay go. let's get yourself progressed to a certain lore thing i'm gonna give you gambling lore now Jesus. uh you've earned it <laughs> all right Woo -hoo. oh it's all coming up Beetle. this this is the best thing i love the fucking best thing <laughs> it's le like oh what what loot did you get this session a skill <laughs> I got Gambling a free. Lore. I got a fucking free skill rank. That's the best shit. Oh, I love yeah. that. You're now trained in gambling. That'll be your downtime activity. You like. Yeah. We're gonna summarize stuff now, because uh, I'm going to be asking everybody, what are you doing before you head over to the Crocsden? Mm -hmm. um, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, because maybe you want to ask for information about it. Maybe you want to investigate some areas. Maybe you would do something completely different. Maybe you want to maintain some of the relationships you have with people currently. So when you do go, that's on its way, or you want to go look out for something, things like that. So Beetle, Baron has voluntold you basically, uh, that yeah. you're going to go out and gambling. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, if you don't want to do that, let me know. I gambling addiction. <laughs> okay. How many people know Beetle by name now? Like just from being good at cards? Uh, for what has been happening, like you are practically a shark to some taverns. That when you show up, it's like, oh, motherfucker. <laughs> you know, like we're going to lose our cash on this one. There's some other ones yeah. who think they can take you. So you you're not like a big name currently, yeah. but uh, like you, you, you would feel like if you got noticed by rolling really well and doing well at Crocs Den, that you'd be brought to the high rollers table. I strike uh, fear into some hearts. Very good. Very yeah. nice. So I'm. Wait, wait, wait. What, what is his ace name? Is it the dragon? Because he because he hoards. The dragon. It's so fucking dumb. I like it. <laughs> this is about to become the dragon's day. <laughs> Hand over your hoard. <laughs> So, uh, so I'm gonna go down the line here. Uh, for Gray, what would Gray be doing during her downtime? Like, this is basically just like, are you going out to try to make money somehow? Are you wanting to maintain relationships? Do you want to prefer aid somebody in their thing? Uh, what would uh, you like to do? I want to say that Gray's been like scoping out different places for Beetle to hit. Uh, that way she can go in and like give him information. And like, he, hey, here's like the normal people who come around. Here's what their tactics are. Use that to your advantage. <laughs> Cause she's just like this, she's this little old knoll lady. She's just kind of vibing there. Um, but while she's like, she's doing that and she's also, um, you know, keeping uh, keeping up with uh, Greg and Chunkus to make sure that like they're being taken care of. Okay. Because uh, one of them is literally homeless now. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> So, uh, roll me a perception check. We'll, we'll take that as you're kind of down to think of helping uh -huh. out basically Beetle in that case. Yes. That is a 15 for a total of 28. Okay, awesome. Like you're hel You helped Beetle out a lot. More people know Beetle's <laughs> stuff. <laughs> and, and, and you're maintaining everybody and all that. You're helping Chonkis get like a little room in the stables. You know, it's got mm -hmm. a little place to sleep. Um... Now, for Talim, what is Talim doing in his downtime? Um, so with level seven, I actually picked up a feat called Inventor. Uh huh. Um, and so the, the actually, uh, free archetype type of deal for the class thing. It's a general no, feat. It, it, oh, it, is it? Okay. A, oh, right. It is. Feat. That's right. Yeah, because I'm a now I'm a master in the crafting skill. 
in level seven. Um, but uh, I wanted to actually uh, have Talim uh, sit down and uh, research how to make uh, the, the second and uh, possibly even third level scrolls. Okay. Um, um. And and if possible. I don't know how you handle it, but we can like talk after the uh, the session. Uh, look at uh, upgrading his sturdy shield from a uh, from a minor to a lesser. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. So definitely uh, write that stuff down if you haven't already, and then yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. we'll do that. So you're basically figuring out you're you're learning stuff. Um, yes, I'm learning. My brain is expanding, and with yeah. Beetle's help, I have to my look wallet. up. I have to look at the right rolls for it. But for now, roll me a crafting check. And we'll, we'll determine that of uh, how well things are going. Well, wait, I gotta open up my. I have a bunch of windows open because I was researching stuff. <laughs> oh, God, oh, God, oh, God. Oh, God, oh, God, oh, God, oh, God. Oh God. You happy with that, I'm, too? I'm, 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 no, I'm gonna just gonna hero point to reroll that. <laughs> gonna, yeah, yeah, that's a. That's a I'll take that. That's a 29. Yeah, that, that'll yeah. do it. Uh, I'll give you results of that, but basically things go well. I'll yeah. summarize for now. Things Yippee. go well. Uh, Beetle, you're a crime lord in heart. Um, <laughs> what is heart doing during their time during their downtime? Oh my god! <laughs> I'm so happy. I'm so freaking happy. This is hilarious. Uh, um, throughout this entire bit, uh. Heart will, um, he will sneak around the city and he will use his newfound ability to write, uh, to, uh, to put up, uh, graffiti on walls and stuff like that, uh, to spread, uh, the word of this new awesome crime lord. Oh the my God. Like top gambler, basically. <laughs> yeah, top gambler. Watch out for beer, beer. Yeah, yeah. I, I exactly. will, cons I will consort to Beetle and Froggy. Uh, is that okay with you? It's for the group. It's for the group. Is it okay with you? you? Want it. Oh, with me as a player? Yes. yes. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Beetle is a little nervous. He's like, "Are you sure about this? People are gonna come try and hurt me, right? It's fine, right?" No, no, Beetle. <laughs> Everyone will fear you. Oh, okay. I, I'm sure it'll make my mom proud. Uh. Okay. Uh, <laughs> let's see. Roll me a crafting check, Hart. And I will scribe. Yes, you may. Nice, nice. Oh, I rolled a 16 for a total of 25. People pick up on what you're painting down. <laughs> <laughs> and so the legend of Beatles Dragon Horde grows and in the city of Tyne as the camera pans over to someone in their office someone just like just strokes up a match and smokes down a cigar as these crocodile alligator whatever we decide to put them down as He's a crocodilian. <laughs> yeah that thing uh pretty much you see these these lightened up yellow eyes just kind of looking down at a piece of paper saying dragon's horde huh <laughs> just crunches the paper and that is where we're gonna end it today i'm gonna die i'm gonna die i'm going to 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 die i can't believe i can't believe they the went for a high stakes game where the loser gets eaten it's for the group. <laughs> I hope oh, everyone God. had a fantastic, a fantastic time. Thank you so much uh, to everybody. Let's go around the horn. Everyone wants to plug where their stuff is real quick, and then we'll head on out. Starting off with Minerva. Yeah, my name is Minerva. You can find me over at Party Demoness on Twitch and Twitter and YouTube and wherever the heck, uh, whatever. It's Cab's turn. Hi, I'm Cabal, your favorite Frightening Cabinet co-leader, Hooded Horror host. Um, currently, for October, I will be streaming on Twitch until I make a uh, switch over to YouTube. You can find both of those um, by going to the respective sites and uh, typing in Cabal. 
The next one, got Froggy Lock. Hi, I'm Froggy Lock. Uh, I'm a professional artist and live to deep rigor and a variety streamer here on Twitch, but you can find me on all other social media platforms under that same handle, and I hope you're having a wonderful whatever time zone day it is. <laughs> we have Salty Jub. Hi, I'm Salty Jub. I do funny little art uh, and live in the northernmost part of Sweden in the middle of nowhere. Uh, you can support me by supporting Cabal and Soren, as well as the entirety of Narrative Declaration, as I work with the two uh, of those groups uh, separately. But uh, we just gather each uh, and every other Saturday here. Uh, you can find me as well on Twitter at Salty Job, but whatever. You, you'll, you'll see my work here. <laughs> of course, I have been your host and game master for the evening. I am Zoran the Bear. You can find me all of that. Just Google me. <laughs> you know, make it easier. Wow. Idea. wow. Uh, you can see, you can find the schedule or stream schedule on our Discord. We have a dedicated section with a Google calendar also with below on Twitch in the About section. On Yvonne Mobile, click that tab and you'll find the schedule with a Google Calendar that'll give you all of our dates, times, everything else, and see exactly when this show and all the other shows are coming back uh, and everything. Of course, find everything that you kind of want PDF lore stuff about the world of Tyne, of Rock Ryan, or kind of like Elden Ring, Dark Souls inspired setting at patreon.com forward slash narrative declaration. We had a couple PDFs released today. So you guys get to crunch in some cosmos cosmology and other stuff that the team's been kicking ass on. And of course, we got YouTube, podcasts, all that other stuff in which we hope you enjoy. But now it's time to leave. Thank you all so very <gasps> much for everybody. watching. Bye, everybody. We'll see you all Bye. next time. So long. Farewell. Remember us all. We're going to die next session. Remember no, that we live. That, that's us. just you, Froggy. It's just you. It's, what do you mean? You're not going to help me. You're going to oh, I'm, I'm already dead.